There are many questions that people have about how to perform certain supposed psychic or paranormal abilities, such as the ability to project the consciousness and have out-of-body experiences, for example. And there are many sources of information that can provide some very sound advice in this regard, that is instruction on techniques and general methodology that can make such abilities possible. But seldom, I feel, is there an explanation as to why some do better than others in being able to perform these techniques and abilities. And while it is most likely the case that some people do better with certain techniques than others because those techniques just fit them better, it is also the case that there is a missing piece that is seldom talked about, a missing piece as to why certain people have better results than others. And the key really as to why things work for some but not for others is power, psychic force, and more importantly, how to increase this force. In this video, I would like to go over a question that a certain reader had, and my answer to that question. I wish to do this because in answering this question, I provide an answer as to how to increase your psychic force, and how this force, and its increase has multidimensional aspects that not only increase the complexity of working with this energy, but also show how this energy is really without limit for those that can learn to tap into it. Please note that in this video, I will be referring to my personal techniques and the map that I provide as an inner alchemist to my readers. As such, if you are not familiar with these techniques or the terminology used, there may be a few questions that you might have, but I strongly feel that the information here outweighs differences in technique and that indeed this information can be used by anyone to apply to their own practice no matter what kind of techniques you are using. In this particular case, this reader had, and is becoming more and more adept in the techniques that I write about, and as a result has made some very important correlations, that will going forward, greatly increase this practitioner's potential power. He starts by telling me that he has discovered, that is through his own work, his own personal action, the direct correlation between the techniques that I discuss in the magnum opus, and in the book that follows in the trilogy, The Way of the Projectionist. My reply to this is as follows. I am very glad to know you are progressing quickly, and I think that you have quite naturally come upon a point where the techniques discussed in the magnum opus coincide and unite with the way of the projectionist. As you note also, being that one in the end involves the other, the ability to project can greatly enhance your ability to reabsorb past energetic loss and consequently, your ability to absorb past events does greatly increase your psychic power and your ability therefore to project your consciousness farther and with much greater potency. For those not familiar with my technique, or for those that wonder as to the correlation here, it is important to note that one level of technique that he refers to in the magnum opus directly feeds the other in the way of the projectionist. This reader then has taught himself how to absorb latent psychic force and store that force, which is covered in the magnum opus, and then use it to expand his abilities to project his consciousness farther and farther, using the techniques covered in the book, The Way of the Projectionist. There is therefore a correlation, that this person has been able to verify by himself for his own betterment, between the absorption of psychic force, and the ability to perform extraordinary feats of mental action. This discovery is most important, especially when a person can witness it for themselves through their own doing. This then is the answer to the question in actual practice, those that can't seem to replicate a technique, with the same power and efficiency may be having troubles, because they do not have the psychic power needed to do what they want to do, to the extent that they want to do it, and no one has shown them how to increase this force, or how to work with it in any way. To make the point even more succinct, this person reports that as his absorption of psychic force has increased, his projections have indeed become more vivid, and he is beginning to be able to tap into alternate histories, which to him at the time seem more like simple daydreams. In trying to explain to him that these simple daydreams are more important than he may at first realize, I use an example which I think you may find useful in your own practice. I reply as follows. As you do become a more adept projectionist, many of the questions that you now have will be answered through your own experience. For example, 
While it is indeed possible to use your projectionist techniques to go very far back in your life, these projections will also allow you to perceive what could be referred to as alternate life events, that while non-existent in accordance to your memory of past events, nevertheless can play a significant role in your present situation. These alternate events can also lead to what could be referred to as simultaneous reincarnational events, that is alternate life tracks, simultaneous lifelines, that while not being the past as we may remember it, still can affect this present reality through oftentimes unconscious communications in dreams, ideas, and impulses, that may lead us in unsuspected future directions. Generally, these alternate histories stay far in the background of the conscious self, but for an adept, who is progressing in power, as they move through the rooms of the projectionist and as they involve themselves in the reabsorption of their energetic totality, to gain more and more psychic power, these alternate realities, these other dimensional existences, become known to them, and this can have many benefits. Let me give you an example, let's say that as you use your projectionist techniques to travel back to a very early time in your past, you begin to reabsorb and begin to follow the track of your life into what you refer to as the present moment. But as you do so, you discover that you seem to go into a dream-like alternate place, because instead of becoming the person that you are now, you instead follow a track of events that lead you to experience a life, or a set of events that are completely different from what you consider to be true reality. Now, you might believe that your projections, while valid in some sense, are not valid when it comes to reabsorption, because even though you were consciously transported to what could be referred to as another dimensional reality, this reality has nothing to do with what you consider to be factual history, and therefore any absorption that you did there, you would imagine, must not count. This isn't real life, you imagine. Well, the thing is that these alternate places oftentimes do count, because they do indeed represent events that do hold parts of ourselves, parts of our energy, because they are legitimate and real in their own alternate dimension. And as such, as a projectionist grows in power they greatly expand their concepts of who they are, how big they really are on the inside. And because of this, they greatly expand as well the kinds of energy available to them, the amount of energy they can tap into and reabsorb, which then greatly increases their power even more, which then allows them to become even more powerful projectionists, etc. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to tell you here, there is great nuance, but this nuance is not something that is beyond you. It just requires that you grow in your projectionist abilities, which will quite naturally expand your intellect and your ability to see beyond the borders of who you thought you had been up till now. Continue as you have, you are making great progress. But do note that in order to do so you will need to increase your ability, as a projectionist, which will naturally coincide with your ability to absorb and contain energy. A seeming catch-22, I know, but the idea that anything is linear, or that the extent of your life is whatever followed some trajectory course from a beginning to an end, is the real illusion in all of life. As you can see from my response to this question, you are indeed far more expansive, far more magical and powerful, than you may now believe yourself to be. And it is possible for anyone to master the abilities that some call impossible. What you need to do is to not just master the technique that will allow you to travel astrally, project your consciousness, or even escape the three-dimensional trap, as I call it, of this physical universe, but to also master the techniques that allow you to work and absorb energy. Without this latter and most critical ability, the supposedly impossible will always be just out of your reach, there is no other way. If you would like to know more about the specific techniques that I have been discussing here, I will leave a link to my books, The Magnum Opus, and The Way of the Projectionist in the video description below.